Hello there once again from Sweden and welcome back to another pick a card reading. In today's reading we're gonna do a fast and uplifting message for you and to do this reading I have prepared four different piles with cards that will be four separate readings. What you do is you choose the pile that you naturally feel the most drawn to and that will be your reading today. As always, we will take one additional card together that you get to see faced upwards and hopefully that will help you to find your right reading today. So let's go for it. A fast and uplifting message for you. Fast and uplifting. Whoops, okay. Fast and uplifting message for you. Pile one, sacred boundaries. Pile two, just trust. Pile three, metamorphosis. And finally, pile four, destiny path. Okay, beautiful cards. And that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, you will find the timestamps shared in the commentary section and they will take you uh, yeah, directly to the pile that you have chosen. Okay, guys, I'll see you in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. A short and uplifting message for you. And you felt drawn to this beautiful card here with sacred boundaries. We have a big hand and we have a tiger here. And I don't know, I just feel like so many, the colors here looks really, really colorful. <laughs> I just feel like pile number one, you are stepping into your power. You're becoming very genuine, very authentic, very strong in your own energy, very confident, I think. And naturally, it feels like you are breaking free from an old way of being and an old way of kind of um, acting in in your life, being in your life. And there, there, the hand here feels like resistance. So there's going to be energies around you resisting your change somehow trying to hold you back either consciously or unconsciously because uh, people around you don't like maybe change or maybe they don't they didn't change or something like that so I feel I just feel like you're breaking free and the energy sometimes you, you might feel heavy energies around you of resistance and what you need to know is that has nothing to do with you you are on your beautiful path towards uh, self empowerment towards self love towards freedom and confidence and uh, you know having a high self worth and self esteem you're on the right path, yeah, you are on the right path. And the hand here, you know, this hand has nothing to do with you, it's not you. There's, it almost looks like it wants to say, stop, don't go any further. Maybe somebody's scared of losing you because of you changing so much, you know. Maybe family members feel uncomfortable because of the change that you're making in yourself or energies or cords or things that have been attached to you can also be just collective energies. They want to say stop. They're like, no, what's going on with your pile one? Why are you changing so much? Like, this means if you change, that means that I have to change and I, I don't want to change. So it could be an energy wanting to stop you or holding you back, but you have already gotten your stripes. <laughs> you are stepping into that tiger energy of yours. So I just feel that you're on the right path. Um, 
don't be maybe disappointed don't be scared of maybe if you're feeling intense energies from time i think there's just also a lot of things going on around you because of that you're releasing yourself stepping into your power it creates a lot of energies and uh oh what is it called a lot of reactions it causes a lot of reactions in the people that you have energetic cords karmic cords with because you're cutting those cords now you're healing the karma now you're freeing yourself you're becoming very very strong and very confident so it's a process you're in this process we have a number 43 here maybe that's significant to somebody there is it's a process and you are on the right path you're you're finding your colors you're getting your stripes <clears throat> and everything is fine everything is fine it's just a process of uh, becoming you you are in the process of becoming you okay let's look at the rest of your oracle cards here and you have clarity with the Herkimer diamond. You know, a diamond uh, needs to be cut. And I think that, you know, uh, it takes a long time for a diamond to become a diamond. You know, it's a whole process uh, for a diamond to become diamond. You know, it has to be cut and it, it goes through this whole thing. You're becoming a diamond. You are the diamond, I mean. And it's, you. like I said, it's a process. Trust, trust the process. Trust that you are on the right path, even when things are trying to stop you or when you feel overwhelmed, maybe because of old things keeps coming up, you know, again and again and again. And you're like, am I not done with this? Like, why am I not free yet? Or why am I not done with this? You are continuously freeing yourself. You are walking forward. You are on the right path. So have faith, pile number one. You are a diamond. And like I said, it takes time for a diamond to become a diamond so be patient you're not just any diamond you're a herkimer diamond that feels like a the special type of diamond <laughs> so clarity uh hmm clarity is gonna come to you it feels like you're about to understand this hand maybe here you're about to understand what is holding you back uh so hang in there if if it's not clear where you're going or what you're doing just hang in there keep doing what you're doing keep uh, trying uh, use all the tools that you have and keep working towards your goals and your manifestations clarity is coming into your life uh sooner than later you're gonna understand things very it feels like you're gonna learn what is your energy and what is energy from the outside you're gonna learn what was holding you back and how to release that last layers of the things that was holding you back so just hang in there pile number one balance and passion flower we have yeah balance and passion flower we have a number six here Hmm, 36 on this card you are balancing out you know energies are balancing out like i said it's a process uh yeah you're balancing everything out everything is coming together in the most beautiful way but like i said it's a process sorry for repeating myself so it's like the journey is about to come to its end actually it feels even so you have come far you know you've done a lot of work you you manifested a lot you have taken yourself very far so i mean I feel like you're almost done. That's how it feels like. You're almost done, you know? So it's just like, it feels like the last things are balancing out now. And maybe that is not comfortable. Maybe that is, comes with certain disturbing thoughts and feelings and, and conflicts and things on the outside world. But it's just because it's being pushed now because of... It's being pushed to the surface so you can balance out, out those last things. And... Uh, yeah, so you can balance out those last thing and become that shiny diamond that you are. Um, mm. And the last card here is mountains and obstacles. Yeah, I felt we had some obstacles here. You know, every mountain that you climb, you sooner or later you're going to reach that top. So I, I just feel you're about to reach that top, you know. Uh, and I just want to keep saying, like, hang in there. You are closer to reaching your goals than you know. Sometimes it's hard, you know, when we're we're having a lot of 
negativity coming up or you know things doesn't go the way we want it to go or you know we feel like something is holding us back and stopping us it's hard to see in that moment that we have made progress and that we are almost going to reach the top because our minds mind are, is foggy you know we have clarity here so it feels like just because you don't see the end result doesn't mean that you're near not near the end result so you're near, you're almost there. It's just like a little fog here. There's something balancing out here. And you're going to get clarity soon. I, once again, I just get, you're going to get clarity sooner than later. Whatever you're facing this time is not as tough as you think that it is. It is less difficult than you make it in your mind and what the feelings tell you because it feels like you've been working through many layers of the same type of feelings and things so or if you just feel like something is holding you back the, the obstacle here is not uh the, the mountain is not as high as you think it's actually not it just feels like you're just at the top you know it's like the elephant you know the story of the elephant the elephant is tied it's been tied to a rope, you know, its whole life. So it's it, it, at the circus or whatever it is. Uh, and, and, and even if we release and then somebody takes away that rope from the elephant and the elephant is still going to stand there thinking it's tied because of the condition of the mind. The mind, it, it has been, it, its whole life, it has been thought, th thought, um, it has learned that the rope is there and that that the, uh, that this elephant is not free so the ro it feels like the rope is already gone you're already free somehow you already reached your goal how strange that sounds because maybe you don't feel that in your life that yet you have already freed yourself it's like you're holding on to the to an illusion of a problem that no longer exists. Does that make sense, pile number one? And I'm I'm sorry, I don't want to minimize any of your feelings and your thoughts and your challenges. If you're experiencing something, I just want to lift your energy up to understand that you have what it takes inside of yourself to turn around and look at that rope. It's not there anymore. You have the strength inside of you and you're almost, you're breaking, the clarity is coming. You are on the right path and just keep doing what you're doing. Keep having faith. It's all balancing out, you know? It has to balance out. We have an olive here, you know? I think it's an olive. No, maybe not. It's a passion flower. I don't think olives grows from a passion flower. It looks like olives. You know, olives makes me feel... It's kind of a symbol for peace. So peace is coming to you. Peace is coming. And once again, sooner than later, peace is coming to you. You are with sacred boundaries. You are divinely protected. You are divinely guided. You are guided. You are protected. Even in those moments when you feel despair and you don't feel it at all, you are. Keep hanging on to that inner light and strength that you have. I mean, you take, you took yourself this far. I mean, if you look back, and I think you've been working maybe with yourself for, for a long time or you're trying to manifest this goal of yours, you are almost there. There is no time for giving up now. It's time to... Take a big breath, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a hug and say, okay, I got this. I'm going to do the last stretch. And I trust that uh, I trust the process and the universe is guiding me right. Uh, that's the feeling that I'm getting here. <clears throat> and let's look at the, your tarot cards here. Two of swords. Yeah, kind of, you know, you're at the crossroad with the two of swords. Um... Uh, yeah, in there, it could be like a mental conflict or just feeling that you're at a crossroad, not seeing clearly. Two of ones, two of swords is kind of not seeing clearly. And we have it underneath the clarity. So clarity is coming. Uh, and we have page of cup. Yeah, page of cups, you know, pages are the messengers. So you're, you're definitely getting clarity. Just hang in there, breathe. Do what it takes to calm your energy down. Do what it takes to... Guide yourself through these difficulties, to these obstacles, to these challenges in, a, in, in a, such a calm and balanced way that you can. And we have six of swords. Wow. You are about to leave this behind and move on. You, it's, it's coming. The end is near. And like I keep hearing sooner than later. This could be like really like a temporary problem or something you've been dealing with for a long time. And it's about to come to its end with the Six of Swords. You're leaving it. And I like the Six of Swords, you know. In the normal Raider Waite, the original Raider Waite Tarot, you know, 
uh, Six of Swords is depicted like a there is a child and a woman sneaking out at night and there is a boatman kind of yeah there's a boatman I don't know if the word is a boatman but let's just call it like that it's my Swedish English <laughs> so there's a boatman uh, in that boat and they're sitting there and they look a bit scared and it, he, this boatman is paddling them away from the situation and they go into calmer water but if you look at the six of sword you are you are in that you're paddling away you're taking control you're so this is your own work and it just makes me feel like you did it. I don't know what you wanted to do or what you wanted to reach, but pile number one, you were about to do it. You were about to hit that mountain. You were about to manifest. You are about to leave whatever you wanted to leave behind. And you are about to steer your life into calmer water. So if you're feeling confusion now, you know, with the clarity and the two of swords here, in the, the mountains and the obstacles feels like there could be confusion going on here, not knowing how the situation is going to solve. You, you're getting clarity, like once again, hang in there. It's gonna be more beautiful than you think. I mean, you're gonna soon be on the other side with Six of Swords and you're gonna feel good about yourself because you put on your tiger energy <laughs> and you stepped into that boat and you took yourself out of that situation. So you're not just leaving it, you are gonna, you're gonna be on the other side with a new feeling of inner strength and confidence and self-esteem, you're gonna feel good about yourself because of you being able to do such a big thing for you. So you're not, you're just stepping out on the other side as a new improved person. <laughs> and yeah, you're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel good. Okay. Pile number one, that was your beautiful reading. I was so happy to do it for you. If you like my reading, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like it, leave a comment in the comment section to share your story. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile one. Hello, pile two, and welcome to your reading. A fast and uplifting message for you. And you felt drawn to the Just Trust card here. A beautiful card with a mole here. A mole that has a big smile on its face. And we have two beautiful rainbows here. here. And I feel pile number two. You are done with digging that hole. I don't know what you've been doing. But it feels like you've been digging a hole for yourself. And kind of stayed there. I mean, it feels like, yeah, you dug that hole, you're done with it, let's go, let's get out of there now. You know, it, there is the rainbows, the mole is up from the soil, it's happy. So, so it feels like you're holding yourself in a situation that you don't have to be. Uh, I don't know why, maybe you think that you will solve the problem by, you know, sitting there and thinking about it. I just see you sitting like kind of, you dug a hole in the soil and you're sitting there with your problems and you're like, yeah, holding on to them. So it just feels like, yeah, you dug the hole, you faced your things and now you're kind of done. So I just feel like leave that hole and like the mole here, climb up to the surface and see how beautiful your life actually is. Uh, just trust, you've done what you could in this situation. You have done everything that you could. You, the only thing you can do now is leave the rest to the universe, it feels. They got your back. Your angels, your guides, your spirit team got your back. Once again, you did the work, you did what you could, and now, maybe you did some shadow work, you know, or you faced some things. And at one point, you know, we have to stop digging. At one point, it becomes more like an ego identification, identifying with our problems. Uh, it's good to face our feelings and our emotions and our thoughts. Of course, we have to do that. But it feels like you did that. And now it's time to let it go and let universe solve this situation for you. Um, yeah, hand it over to your guides. They're going to solve it. It's just going to solve. Just lay back and have faith and trust and the situation will solve. That's the message that I'm getting here. Mm. Let's look at some more oracle cards here. Channel. Channel with black phantom quartz. I actually read that the mole uh, symbolizes getting in touch with our psychic senses so your intuition and i feel like may maybe 
oh, I just feel, stop thinking about the problems. You know, thinking about our problems doesn't solve our problems. It just makes us worry. And I mean, it just takes unnecessary energy. Then we're worrying and we're worrying. We think we have to think about our problems to solve them. But it feels like there's nothing more that you can solve from a, from a level of your mind. Uh, you cannot solve your life problems from the level of the mind. But if it more getting in touch with your intuition what, and follow that guidance, what is your intuition saying you, telling you at this moment? What, what is your intuition telling you? Maybe it is kind of letting that go, walk in nature, meditate, spend time with friends that love you, uh, eat good food, rest. And leave it to the universe and see how it solves when you take a step back. And that's the message I'm getting, to take a step back. And it feels like you have been trying to solve this from so many angles. You tried doing this and you did a bit of that and you did a bit of that and you did a bit of that. And everything that you did had an effect. You did a good, you, you did a good job. You weren't lost. You did a good job. You, you tried this and this and this to reach your goal or to solve this thing that you wanted to solve. And now the work is done. Now the rest is up to the universe. And for you to step into a higher energy within yourself of trust, of faith, of joy and happiness, and let miracles, you know, with the rainbows here, let the miracles happen. Let the miracles happen in your life. Uh, yeah, just let, let it manifest, you know. We try to manifest and then we leave it. And then the universe does the job for us. Uh, yeah, so that is the message here. Don't, I just want to, be, I, I don't know why I'm getting this, but it feels like you're sitting there in the hole, you know, in the mole hole. You, you dug yourself into that mole hole you, because you wanted to manifest something or you wanted to deal with something or you wanted to face something. You wanted something maybe. So you dug yourself. And now you're sitting there. And, and I almost want to go there and hug you because it feels like you're sitting there all alone, you know, in a dark hole, a mole hole. It's a bit cold, you know. The, 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 the soil is moist. It's cold. You're lonely. And it just feels like, Pile number two, you don't have to be there anymore. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to be in that. It's done, you know? that It feels like that part of your life is over. You're not alone anymore. You're not in that situation anymore. Everything is kind of... It's in line, aligned. Everything is... The wheel is turning to your favor. So kind of get yourself out of that hole and look at your life and look at yourself and look at the world with clearer with some clarity in your eyes, a new vision. It's about the third eye here, actually, we channel. Uh, yeah, you know, the mole, how does the, does the moles, do, do they have eyes? Uh, I'm just thinking that they're blind because they don't need eyes. <laughs> I don't know, actually, but it makes me think they're using their third eye, you know, they're using their psychic senses. So get more in touch with your psychic senses. They are trying to, your guides are trying to channel, channel information to your, um, they're trying to tell this to you that it's all fine everything is okay just have trust have patience the wheel is turning in your favor you've done such a good job just let it happen now naturally you know if you need to heal something let the healing come naturally let everything just fall into place you know just lay back in trust and sunflower and action and 34. Yeah, you know what? It feels like <laughs> it feels the, the best action for you now is not no action or taking action from a place of your intuition rather than the worried mind. Because when you take action from that worried mind of yours, what you do is that you keep digging in that hole. You dig and you dig and you dig and you know what you're gonna find? Just more soil and darkness and aloneness. There's Kind of, do you understand? If so, if it's like digging that that digging that what is it called? Digging that uh, um, oh, I don't even know the name. Digging that dig, digging that <laughs> digging that hole, yeah, that hole, digging that hole, kind of symbolizes going into a lower consciousness and trying to solve your problem from just digging yourself deeper into the worries whilst leaving that 
whole and taking you out of that and just letting it go and trying to connect with another part of yourself trying to guide you your intuition your guides universe that will lead you to take the right action in this situation with the sunflower here with confidence and with a sense of this is gonna solve because when we dig ourselves in that hole, we don't have confidence. We don't feel it's going to solve. It's just it's more worries and mur worries and worries. So, and sometimes we think, I have this too. I, I actually just had this. <laughs> I had it too. I thought I had to go. You know, we're so, we're so used to doing shadow work and facing our things. At the end, it, it, you know, we forget. It becomes, it can become a thing. Thinking that we have to, we have to. We have to sit here and think about our problems and face those darkest emotions and we think that is the way out. But like I said, it feels like you did that part. And in, in this situation, no, no, this is not about this in this situation. Rather, take yourself out of that hole, um, direct your focus to happiness and to joy, to calmness, to inner peace, to balance your emotions and to get in touch with that intuition that is trying to guide you. Wow, we got guidance here. <clears throat> guidance and sage yeah that intuition that is trying to guide you we have a lighthouse here that is trying to guide you with its light showing you the way showing you the way in a loving calm way it doesn't have to be that hard uh yeah it doesn't have to be that hard actually yeah it doesn't have to be that hard we have sage here there could be a need for you to cleanse your aura Maybe you're picking up on other people's worries and worrisome thoughts. So cleanse your aura is also a guidance that we're getting here. <clears throat> Let me take a bit of my honey tea and we're going to look at your tarot cards here. Okay. We have King of Cups. You have Six of Swords. And Nine of Swords. Yeah, oh my God, this message is so clear. So King of Cups and Six of Swords and Nine of Cups. Yeah, use, you know, King of Cups is about wisdom. It's, a, it's about being in touch with your intuition. Six of Swords is guiding you out of the Nine of Swords, the, the, the worries. Look at this worries here. Look, you're laying, you're laying there in bed. You can't even sleep because you're worrying so much. You're like, how am I going to solve my Nine of Swords? So use your intuition. Use all the wisdom that you have inside of yourself. Get in touch with it and guide yourself in the most loving way out of the situation. And I think you're going to pretty fast get that, the help that you need as soon as you step out of that hole. And try to do to to face this problem in a in a in a different way, in a more spiritual way, in a more uh, emotionally aware way, using your wisdom. And I don't say it's going to be easy for some of you. Maybe you're dealing with a lot of things, but you got it. You can do it. This is the this is this is the other option. The 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 other option is the kind of uh, suffering. You know, I listened to Eckhart Tolle this morning, and he said like. So there's three options to a situation. Either we remove ourselves from the situation. That is option number one. So if there's a situation going on with a lot of, yeah, you're in that hole. So either you remove yourself. If you can't remove yourself, then you accept. You, we accept, okay, this is, this, this is how the reality looks now. So you accept it. And the third way, yeah, we suffer. If we don't remove ourselves, if we don't accept, then the third thing is suffering. So don't create suffering for yourself when you have two other options. Either remove yourself or accept the situation. And with accepting, you know, the situation, you become very present in the now, you surrender. And from that state, you're going to get higher guidance that's going to help you take the right action to, to remove yourself and change the situation for you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, pile number two. Beautiful message here. I really hoped it helped you. Uh, that was today's fast and uh, uplifting. I hope it uplifted you as well. <laughs> so if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. If you want to share your story, please do so in the comment section. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile two. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. A short and uplifting message for you. 
and you felt drawn to the metamorphosis card here. We have a caterpillar and a butterfly. And I just felt a surge of peaceful energy. And I just got this feeling that it's a beautiful, or actually it's a beautiful journey that you are on. There's change happening in your life. Very beautiful change actually happening in your life. And maybe at times you don't understand what a special deep healing and spiritual journey that you are on. There is positive, very, very positive changes happening in your life at this stage. Uh, you know, the caterpillar might not know that it's becoming a butterfly, but it is becoming a butterfly. And I just feel like honor the process Inner, I think inner peace is about to really enter your life, pile number three. Yeah, it's really about to enter your life. Let's look at the rest of the cards. I'm going to put the tarot cards here. And we have passion. <laughs> Ruby record keeper. Passion. Hmm. With Ruby. Yeah, I just got this sens sense of beauty. I mean, passion. I feel, I think you're about to get new energy, new energy. Uh, 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 some, it feels like a big change or shift in your life is about to come to an end and that you are really about to harvest the fruits of, and you're getting sweet fruits, you're getting something good, something good is about to happen in your life, something very good is about to happen in your life. Because the first energy that I got was this surge of beauty and inner peace. So you're not kind of in that caterpillar stage anymore. It doesn't feel like this is you anymore. It feels like you've done the work and you went through your transformation. There is still changes happening, changes happening in your life, but very, very positive changes. And it looks like it's a pink. I don't know if it's a pink sun rising here. No, yeah, it should be a sun, I think, because of the blue skies here. So you're about to, <laughs> you are about to get an energy boost of happiness, well-being and passion into your life. And I think you, there, there is a big shift about to happen for you in, it could even be in an unexpected way, but you're coming out on the other side and you're going to feel damn good. I mean, you're going to feel so good. Let's look at the rest of the cards here. We have creativity. Wow. So passion, creativity, it's ginger here. Ginger makes me think of you being very healthy. So you're coming out on the other side. The transformation is done. The, you're starting to see very positive changes in your life now. Very positive forward movement. You're going to start to see how far you have come. You're going to start experiencing very positive emotions inside of yourself. Maybe even dreamy emotions, you know walking into the world and just looking around and just feeling, just really seeing the beauty of the world in a new way. Uh, and passion and creativity here, your creativity is about to ignite. You're about to enter into, oh look, we have a light bulb here. You're about to enter into a new energy where you are getting ideas and inspirations like crazy. You're going to be creating, you're going to feel beautiful. There's something happening with your body as well. You're becoming maybe more healthy or stronger in your body. Or I just feel if your sense, if your connection to your sexuality has been kind of off, <clears throat> or yeah kind of off or shut down for some reason you're getting that back you're getting the sense of oh i am a sexual i am a, i am a woman or i am a man and this is my expression of my sexuality and with that comes a lot of creativity and passion <clears throat> and we have three an ancestry a family re reunion honoring your roots I think pile number three, there is some situation solving for you with the tree and ancestry here. It feels like 
everything is kind of coming to a place. There, if there has been some conflicting energies in your life, it's kind of calming down. Uh, things are solving. If there's communication that needs to be done, it's going to be done. Uh, everything is coming together and releasing and creating freedom for you. I just feel like you're really stepping into freedom. You're freeing yourself from whatever was holding you back. You're getting your passion back. You're getting your sexuality ignited. Life feels fun again. You feel happy. You're creating. You feel with the trees here and the roots here, you're starting to really ground yourself in a new life. So it feels like your life went through many, many changes and now you're starting to create a new life for yourself, you know, honoring our roots, but you're, you're, you're honoring your own path and it feels like you've done a shift or you're doing a shift, leaving something old behind and then starting something new. And the, thing, the new thing that you're starting here is more aligned with your soul purpose. It's more aligned with your heart, uh, your heart wishes and dreams. So you are, you're, you're just, I just feel it's just such a beautiful, it's such a beautiful journey that you're on. There's, there's so many positive changes and healing, deep healing, you know, with the roots here in the tree. Deep, maybe ancestral healing going on or that has been going on. So you you didn't just heal yourself. You didn't on, only change your life. It's kind of you touching many other people that maybe you don't even know that you're touching their lives or freeing just the whole generational lineage from old karma. And it feels like that is coming to an end. The end, yeah, the end, yeah, it's coming to an end. And you're you're the butterfly. You're continuing with your life in a new way. There's a new life opening up for you, and you're you're starting your new life, a new ancestral line. It kind of starts the new energy. Feels like it starts with you. And by saying that, also, I feel like damn, you had to carry probably a lot if it starts with you. You know, the change that you had to go through wasn't just affecting you. It, it affected the whole ancestral line. You turned the table. And now you're going to start enjoying the fruits of this. Enjoying how good you're going to feel by doing this heavy work. And I just feel like, I don't know if you're going to be traveling, but it feels like I feel travels, I feel fun, I feel happiness, I feel making love, I feel laughing and dancing with friends. And also getting in touch with your creativity, kind of in a new way. It's like your gifts and abilities and maybe artistic talents are refining themselves. They're becoming more cultivated. They're, they're going through a, a whole... They also went through a whole transformation. So it's kind of learning how good you actually are in doing what you're doing or getting in touch with what you are supposed to do. Something that you're meant to put out in the world becomes, you're, you're becoming very good at what you're doing. Very good at what you're doing. You're getting a surge of uh, creative energy, you know, you're, you're becoming alive. So maybe you went through this whole metamorphosis process, you know, a lot of karma and it was hard and you know it was just like heaviness and darkness and layers after layers and you're leaving all that behind pile number one you are leaving that all behind this, the future that you've been wanting is coming it is coming i would say it's already here actually it feels like it's already here we have family reunion on the t-shirt here we have a number 42 here also uh so we have family reunion but that feels kind of like it's happening now you, it you are <sighs> family reunion feels like okay the healing is done you know if we're, we're having a family reunion it sounds like something positive so it feels like the healing is done or gonna be done soon and you're you're walking into a new future a new a new path is opening up for you and this path is going to be so much nicer than the path that you're just about to leave you know so yeah this is going to be much more fun on this path and we have knight of swords yeah you're moving fast into a new reality you are taking yourself from an old an old reality and going into a new reality with courage here we have nine of wands <clears throat> 
and we have the moon. So I feel that y there is, I feel that you're not seeing, I feel confusion here with the moon and nine of wands also this having to stand your ground, maybe holding your energy, being maybe harder on yourself than you need to be. I don't think, yeah, maybe you're judging the situation to, in an old way, maybe not seeing how near the end that you actually are. Uh, mm, hmm, Knight of Swords. Because you're moving forward. There, I just felt like there's some aggression here also, or some uh, maybe aggressive energies or like conflict going on. And you are the Knight of Swords here. You are trying to penetrate through that. And with the family reunion, it could be some conflict going on with your family or emotional wounds from your childhood or something like that. Or maybe something else, some other conflict like that you need to... Or <clears throat> conflict or challenge that you're trying to push through here. So you're trying to push through something that is already solving by itself i don't know how to say this but it's kind of like i don't it's like it is like the problem i don't know it's it honestly it's like the problem doesn't exist and i'm i'm i'm, I'm <laughs> it's like you're fighting something that you have already overcome that's how it feels yeah you're fighting something that you already overcome hmm thinking that you're still the caterpillar but you have already become the butterfly and I don't know here, maybe you need to steer yourself back. It's steering yourself to what? I don't know. It's like you go. I would like to put up a mirror in front of you and show you. See in the mirror who you are. Uh, and maybe there is still like ghosts in your mind making you think that you have to fight this or that you have to solve this in some way, that you have to be strong here, you have to solve this, you have to handle this in some way. But it's like you are already the butterfly, you can just fly away from the situation and continue your life. And you're, I, it's, it's happening anyways, it's happening anyways with, with the moon here, it's kind of, <laughs> it's like you're... <sighs> Hmm. Maybe holding yourself back in the past when you are already fully ready to step into that future. Fully ready, yeah, fully ready to step into the future. There is nothing holding you back anymore than just past ghosts and beliefs that there is something, nine of ones, I don't know why, it just feels like there is something that you need to still hold on to. You know, nine of wands is a card of being, uh, holding on, being very stubborn in some way. And, and and that energy is very good. We need that at times. We need to be strong in ourselves, very firm in our mind, holding on to something. But it just feels like, no, at this time, no, now you know what? You're done with this. So whatever conflict or drama there is here, you know, just look at it. Look at yourself and just say goodbye and fly away. And there's a wonderful new life awaiting you, ready to be fully manifested into your reality. And out of the three readings now, I, I found this one was the hardest one to channel here because I feel so much resistant, resistance to change. But the uplifting message here is that you already did what you needed to do. The situation is already done. Now it's just for you to leave it. There's nothing more here. And as soon as you, I just want to go like this, you know, bye-bye. As soon as you live, live, leave this drama or this thing, and maybe it's like for some of you, because I'm getting this energy so strong here, maybe that you're physically have to remove yourself from a situation maybe cutting cords with somebody maybe maybe breaking up maybe leaving a job there's something that needs to be left here for you because it's kind of like you're holding yourself back saying no i'm still a caterpillar but you're not a caterpillar you're a butterfly you've been you've been a butterfly from 
for a pretty long time now, <laughs> thinking you are a caterpillar, but you've been that butterfly for so long, you've been so ready to fly away into your new life. And what we've seen here is that the new life that is awaiting you is beautiful. You're really going to see how far you have come, how much inner peace that can manifest into your life now, because this is the only thing here holding you back, some kind of a holding on to something that is done and trying somehow to solve it in a way that you think is going to be better or something. Uh, but the moon here shows us it's just illusions, you know? Hmm. Let's take, we have to take three more cards here for you. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I just felt, or maybe one more card, let's see. Just to get like a last little, uh, last little message here. So pile three, look at that turning around. The hanged man, yeah, look at this hanged man. This was a perfect last card. <sighs> the hanged man, changing perspective. It's like, you know what it is? You already have it all. You have already, <laughs> You have already manifested that beautiful life that you want. Everything is already there. It is just, it feels like you physically or energetically have to remove yourself from holding on to the Knight of Swords here, some kind of a fight, some kind of a challenge, some kind of a struggle. As soon as you do that, you're fully stepping into that new energy. And there's so much good awaiting you. I just see like a, you know, like a big hall. And, uh, and you know, uh, yeah, you know, like a big hall with a big wooden table. And there's a big chicken, you know, a pig with an apple in its mouth. And you have the best fruits. And if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you can just uh, visualize the table like that. But it's there with all the fruits and foods. And, you know, there's a party going on. There is music. There is dancing. There is laughter. That is waiting you. That is already there. It's kind of, you know, the food is getting cold because, <laughs> because you're here. It's like kind of you're in the wrong place when you, are, you've been, you have been manifesting going forward. But then something inside of you is holding on to something in the past. Not fully stepping into that. And it feels like this is some action you have to let go. Yeah. I, I, maybe that's not fun to hear. But if that's how it feels, pile number three, that... When you let go, all the good things that you've been wanting is going to come into your life. And the family reunion, even the situation is going to solve for the best, whatever you're holding on to. Letting that go is going to let the universe solve it. So it's going to be good for every everybody. Everybody, yeah, it just becomes calm and nice for everybody. That's how it feels like. Big healing for everybody involved uh, or something like that. Okay, pile number three, that was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like uh, sharing your story in the commentary section, feel free to do so. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile three. Hello, pile four, and welcome to your reading. A fast and uplifting message for you. And you felt drawn to the destiny path here. We have some snakes and we have some bees <laughs> and a very black card here. It feels very mystical. So what's going on here? Let's put that there and we're going to put your tarot cards here. And I think we need some more oracle cards here. Wow. Okay, so you have a le lepidolite with transition. Transition and a number 33 destiny path. Oi, oi, oi. I just feel like whoo, pile number four. You are about to be guided. You are about to be guided into a, you, a, one, one of your big destinies. Something, something big that has been awaiting you. You're getting aligned with. Yeah, your destined path. And it feels like it's a pretty... And they <laughs> they do this sometimes. They don't show me what it is. Because I just see like, yeah, no, it's a secret. They say, you're not supposed to know what it is. But you're going through a transition now. There's a lot of stuff happening with your energy at the moment. A lot of stuff happening. You know, 33 is also a master number. 
making me feel like you're going through massive changes now and maybe also getting like a lot of downloads a lot of information a lot of insight there's a lot of changes happening in your life and i just feel wow they are working with you the energies are working with you like hell <laughs> like crazy to make you to to help you to transition into your future destined path let's look at the rest of the card acceptance and valerian hmm acceptance i think valerian root is good for it's i think it's calming and also good for sleeping if i don't remember it wrong but <laughs> you are there's things being lifted out of your life at this moment. I mean, it could even be like physically lifted. You know, it could be like maybe somebody in your... You had the problems with somebody in your job or something like that. And all of a sudden you come back and this person is not there anymore. Maybe something with your neighbor. All of a sudden they move. You had a conflict with your neighbor for so long and all of a sudden they move. There is things. Maybe you had like a a debt that you had a hard time paying and so all of a sudden you're getting money or something happens and some, somehow it gets paid off. There are heavy things being lifted out of your life at this moment because you universe is guiding you into a new path of your life and it just feels like a mystical, very exciting path that is happening and a new adventure is about to start here. So there's a lot of things that's going to be taken away from you a lot of things being lifted a lot of burdens being lifted away from you. i see i see people i see people making it hard for you I, physically kind of being lifted out of your life it's like some they show me like a hand grabs them and put them somewhere else like like there is literally gonna be a lot of people leaving your life and it can also you know just be people that you had around you uh, you know, maybe the cashier at the, the, the your favorite grocery store is always like, uh, uh, it, it doesn't have a nice mood, you know, always when he's in the counter, you or she, you always feel like a bit depressed, like, oh no, this cashier is never happy, you know, just spreading a bad vibe. People with bad vibes are just going to be lifted out of your life. And acceptance just feels like your life is becoming easier. You have a mission pile number four or a destined path. Maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be like this major secret mystical mission, but I'm getting that energy as well for some of you. It could just be like you're just, you're simplifying your life and life is making room for you to walk into a new, a new, a new path. Yeah, a new path and heart. Oh my God. Heart and love. We have a number eight in the corner that symbolizes uh, abundance. Yeah, love. Whatever is not love is being lifted out of your life and you're getting help. You're getting so much help. I just keep seeing like so many guides. And I, I want to say this, if you, I just felt like, you know, 33, I just feel like the Arcturians. So maybe you have a connection to the Arcturians. Um, either way, either whatever spirit team i think i'm gonna do a reading about this actually soon like what's uh, what's who is your spirit team spirit guides anyways you have a lot working with you at this stage i mean they're all everybody's there working with you helping you and not just you like i said like kind of the parts of your life the cashier is getting like kind of moved around you know because the energy is shifting so there's a big shift in your energy going on and this is so exciting pile number four if you want to share if you've been experiencing this or are or, or about to experience this please tell me this was so exciting i hope this resonates with myself as well <laughs> people getting lifted you know away from our path you know because they have another path so they're just gonna follow that more love coming into your life so that cashier is gonna be gone and next time you come there to the grocery store you're gonna be wondering yeah what happened with that person disappear or your neighbor you know you just come home one day and they're moving and you're like wow and then all of a sudden the nicest neighbor is coming 
moved in, you know, somebody that's making cinnamon buns and, you know, you feel the good smell in the whole hallway or you, how is it called, when you come home and this person knocks on your door and gives you some cinnamon buns and say, hello, I'm your new neighbor, uh, I'm so happy to be here, my name is this and that. So this is kind of what's happening in your life or, you're, you know, your colleague just shifted jobs and just, you know, that you always had a hard time cooperating with because this person maybe, yeah, you're not vibing in the same energy. So this person stops and uh, quits, finds another job. And all of a sudden there's a new colleague coming into, and this might even be a soulmate, somebody that you really connect with. So people with bad vibes or that you're not vibing with are being lifted out of your life. And love is entering your life in all, in, in not just, one corner it's like in all the corners of your life love is entering and this creates space for you and i think also you're getting information from like i said i don't know why but i said you know you maybe it's going to be your soulmate moving in you know it doesn't have to be love here i don't feel like this contains to love actually i feel this is is more like a soulmate like a good friend so or somebody you know doesn't even have to be like this big spiritual meeting just somebody you feel very comfortable with and somehow it feels like this person is going to have some information for you telling you something and creating space for you Maybe pointing in that direction of your destined path. Just saying something like maybe they experienced or something they did or something like that. Somehow awakening or helping you to get guidance for your upcoming destiny. Like you have somewhere you're supposed to go. It feels like it could be, like I said, it could be something big. Like a big mystical destiny you're supposed to go to Himalaya, say, you know, uh, I don't know what, do this. Or you're supposed to go to Peru and build like a, uh, you know, a spiritual retreat. Or it could be you're about to, you're supposed to write a book because you're story is supposed to go out into the world helping people or you are supposed to change your job or you're supposed to do something something that is more aligned with your future so you're transitioning into this and it feels like it's a very very guided very very protected with all the purple here and very transformational period of your life that's happening now and i think for you Pile number four, I don't see any pain here. I don't see any suffering. I don't see any hardships. I just feel like, yay, this is a fun part of your life going on now. Fun things, magical things is going to happen now. <clears throat> With acceptance, I also get like, accept the change that is happening for you because it is positive changes. Even the changes that might seem not positive at the moment when it happens it's gonna give you it's 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 kind of road what is it called um road openers road openers is opening up that road for you mm. okay i love this actually i love this <laughs> so i'm gonna take a sip of my tea and we're gonna look at your tarot cards And you have, wow, 10 of cups. I mean, look at you. Happiness and love. I mean, abundance. I mean, what else can you, you have a cat, you have a dog, you have love, there's a child here. I'm not saying that you're getting all those things, but it symbolizes uh, the 10 of cups is living happily ever after. So a good, good life is about to manifest into your life. A great life is coming into your life. I mean, the sun. I'll, I think this, <laughs> I want to, I hope I choose this reading. I always choose the reading in the end when I uh, have done the, uh, yeah, when, I, when I'm uh, read, <laughs> editing the video and I look at the cards, I always choose the one that I feel the most drawn to. But I hope this is my pile. I like this energy. I mean, you got the sun. Nothing can go wrong. Everything is going, everything is going. I mean, and the sun again. Nah, eh? I have to speak a bit Swedish now. I'm shocked. <laughs> to the sun. I mean, this is such a positive reading. I want to stay here in this energy forever. You got 10 of cups, the sun and the sun. I mean, this is, you You know what is going to, wow, what a great life is manifesting for you. You're transitioning into living happy ever after, ever after, happy ever after. With the sun and the sun, so much happiness, 
so much joy and i think it's this is why people are being lifted out of your life now because you are you are transitioning into a new vibrational frequency you're shifting timelines you're 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 going through a paradigm you know you're shifting paradigms shifting timelines uh and because of you being on another timeline people that don't resonate with that they will they they will be lifted out of your life or you know if you if your neighbors don't move and colleague you're going to change jobs you're going to move into a better place to live you know either universe makes sure that people are lifted out of our life that doesn't vibrate with our energy anymore or they lift us out of uh, out of this old places and situations and of all the readings i'm loving this one the most i mean because it's i can't i can't say I, I just want you to understand how positive this energy is. Don't resist the changes that is happening. They are, are all there to guide you into your happy, 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 happy life. Very happy life. With the sun shining, you're gonna feel you're gonna feel like you're on the top of the world. <laughs> you're, there's so many positive changes happening here. Wow. What a beautiful reading pile number four. What a beautiful message. I am so happy for you and once again I hope I choose this reading. <laughs> I want this for myself as well. It feels amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, pile number four. All the happiness you ever wanted is about to enter your life. Uh, trust the process and just go with it. Just go with it. You are about to be guided into your destiny and it seems like there's a lot of happiness and joy on your destined path. Okay, if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please do so in the commentary section. You don't have to, it's only if you feel like it. Either way, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye, pile number four.